Hey everyone! Being that this is the first video I've ever attempted, I decided to do a little talking head right at the beginning. Um, I apologize, I know the, the video is a little messed up. I know the sound sucks shit, I can't figure out what the hell to do about that, other than bust out my good microphone. But uh, Moving on from there, please let me know if you, you actually found the video helpful. This will be a video on 2x2 two two solving. For those of you who have never ever solved a cube before, um, I know 3x3 three three is really popular to start with. Not entirely sure why. Uh, I have a lot, of, a lot better luck teaching people on the 2x2 two two and then moving on to the 3x3 three because three, everything on the 2x2 two two is applicable to the 3x3. Three three, so, um, for all of you who found the video helpful, great, let me know because I, I plan to start making some more. For all of you that don't, my crotch is readily presented for you to bury your face in. Alrighty, so here's your scrambled cube. Um, we're going to cover three things in this. First, we're going to cover how to uh, intuitively solve your top layer, which is very important, probably the hardest thing you're going to do. Everything else is just rote memorization after that. So, as soon as you're cool with the way the cubies move and what they do, you'll be fine. Um, second will be your two necessary algorithms to solve this and then at the end I think I'd like to put three additional algorithms that I like that are just pretty quick to learn make you good at memorizing you know how to orient your cube properly towards you whilst you're doing algorithms and not losing your place and, and you know general little things like that and then you got five algorithms under your belt that all apply to your three by three so let's get started with that shit got it all right, on to your algorithms. So here's the easiest thing to do. You need to know your first algorithm, which is a placement algorithm. You see, like, right now, nothing's oriented correctly. Uh, yellow is opposite white on this cube. So since all my whites are on the bottom, if anything was oriented correctly, there'd be yellows on the top. And there's not, which is fine, though. That's fine for now. Um, what we want instead is for these to be placed in the correct position because this particular algorithm will mess up your orientation. So you want placement first, orientation second, at least with this method. And so what you're going to look for is like I got my two reds here. So I'm going to place them with my reds, which they're actually already at, but it wouldn't matter. If they were right here, I'd go, oh, there's two reds. I'm going to put them with my reds. What I see here now is that I have um, red and blue but then on the cube above it, because we're worrying about placement, you have red and green. And likewise, you have red and green, red and blue. And in this case, this doesn't always happen, but actually both edges are swapped. You have purple and green, purple and blue, purple and blue, purple and green. So you're actually going to have to perform this algorithm twice, which will be good, because then you can see it. So from my perspective, um, I guess I'll show you both ways. Um, this is the way I perform it when it's facing me. Is boop, 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 boop. But that probably doesn't help you any because you don't care what it looks like when it's facing me, you care what it looks like when it's facing you. So, when it's facing, let's see. When it's facing you, you want the two to be swapped on your left hand side. And so you're going to start, and by the way, you can mirror all of these algorithms. That's kind of why I'm getting mixed up with the left and the right. Because you can do them, I can do them not facing me or facing me, or I can do them on either side of the cube as long as I perform the same actions with regard to like if you imagined a mirror in the center of the cube. If I'm gonna start on this side and the move is that, if I'm gonna do it mirrored, I have to start on this side and that's, you, you have plenty of time to work that out yourself or to watch some more complicated tutorials. So, uh, right now what we have, since I performed the algorithm once, is these two are placed correctly it, with regards to these two, as you can see, and these two are not. Now normally, I would do this uh, with the two that need to be placed facing me, but I'll do it facing you so you can see what's up. Okay, so if it's facing you, 
the ones that are already oriented, those are the ones you start with, move it away. The side that needs oriented, move it up so you got your two whites. Replace that white that you just took out, bring it back, and then replace that second white that you just took out and bring it back. And if you do 180 degrees, they all should be placed if you look at this cube. None of them are oriented right, except this or that one, but uh, they are all placed correctly. So that's a good thing. And this actually just worked out in our favor. This is the case you want to watch for, is one yellow up or one whatever opposing side you picked, mine being white, up. Because what that means is um, that this next algorithm that's very simple is easy to perform. Um, because what happens, okay, since you have one up, if you perform this correctly, it twists every one of these cubes 180 or 120 degrees. So this one, this face becomes white, that face becomes blue, and that face becomes And same with this one. This becomes yellow, red, blue. And it does that all the way around. And so the algorithm is, just since I got such a good case for it, um, bring the piece that, that piece that's facing you, because normally I have it facing me. So bring this piece that's facing you up, move it away from your up piece, back down, move it one more away, bring up so you can this is where it started and then do 180 degrees and you end up with your top oriented and the only thing that needs to happen now is you need to put your sides where they need to be now let's uh, look at this a little bit differently uh, let me solve my one side first and that didn't work out the way it was supposed to okay this is more common in case where it, it's not so perfect. You didn't get your dot and then your, your 120s all the way around. And this one you almost have to mess with it because I think you'll get, I, I can't remember if there's seven or different eight cases where it's all oriented differently and you just have to apply that algorithm twice. Now, all you have to do is think about what the algorithm actually does. And so yeah, like when you start, it, it takes you a second to think everything through like, okay, the three on my right side, like for you if you're doing this algorithm, it's these ones, are going to all flip 120 degrees. And what I want to happen is I want two of them to go away, like these two, and one of them to end up facing up. So if you think about it with this one, this will flip 100, or 120, that one will end up here, this will flip 120, that one will here, but then this one will flip 120 and end up on top. And I know it sounds weird at first, but you get really used to it. And as soon as you see it, then you see it and you go, oh, there's my case. And then you get used to going, okay, well now I'm going to do the mirror. And I'm there, you know. And so that is the, you can solve a, a two by two slowly now, but for anyone who's interested, we'll move on to a couple more complicated cases. All right, so this first algorithm is totally unnecessary, but if you get really anal and you want to solve a few moves on your orientation, it's really simple. It's just when you get two on one side and two on the other. And basically what happens is you apply that uh, second algorithm twice, but you can skip a couple moves. And so you're going to bring it toward you, bring it there, bring it there, bring it there. But when you bring this back, and it, it, rather than doing the 180 degrees, you're going to bring it one back toward you, bring it down, bring it back, and then do your 180 degrees. And then you end up with, with everything oriented. And so for your fourth algorithm, um, the third one was just, it was a silly one that I like to do, because uh, it saves me a couple moves, but I thought I'd throw it out there. It might make you understand the, the nature of the second algorithm a little bit better, and maybe just try performing that second algorithm twice and seeing that the same thing happens, and, and that might help. But So what I'd like to do, bar the third algorithm, is I get, 
everything oriented right before I do anything. And, you know, so you're going to get out oh, that. Fuck, damn it. So I wasn't paying attention. The cube's not supposed to solve itself. Like that. I mean, it does. You do get a lucky instance once in a while, but that's generally not what happens. So, okay, let's try this again. I'm going to orient it. And here's my first case. As you can see, I have these two oriented and placed correctly. You know, all I have to do is insert them into that little spot right there. But then these two, on the other hand, are oriented, but they're not in the right place. And so, I'm going to do this facing you. It, it probably makes just as much sense either way, since uh, you're not used to it facing towards you or away from you. But you start with the two that are oriented. And it's a combination of those first two algorithms. So you do the flip up the back, the flip up the back, the flip up. But then what you're going to do, rather than just replace this one here and turn it back down, you're going to do a 180, bring this empty one back, bring this white cube one more towards you, then bring the spot where it's supposed to go originally, flip it back. And you basically just combine those two algorithms and made life a lot easier because you could remove, I think it's three or four moves, I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, I just realized I'm recording. Okay, so last of the last. Sorry, I've been trying to have the, uh, the cube ready, but I wasn't paying attention, so I'm recording now. So let's see. I'll do my thing, and maybe even watching a, a couple solves might help you guys, so. Okay, so I got my orientation. This is not what I wanted, because I just showed you this instance. That doesn't help me. So I'm going to solve this, and then, and then show you the diagonal. So what happens in this instance is you get this one's placed oriented and then that one's placed oriented. And these are both oriented, but they're placed wrong. And so uh, in the last one, in the last little take I did, it, it made a lot more sense when you could see what was going on. So I'm doing it the way I normally look at it. it it'll be backwards for you, but you can actually see how things are turning and it makes makes it more easy to understand why this is a variant. So you're going to bring the messed up side, this is the one you want to swap, up, away from you, or away from that side. The other side up, replace that side, put it back down, and then put this here, but in that first algorithm when you would normally put that there, what you're going to do is just leave it, bring this side back up, turn it away from itself, and then where that one would have been placed, you put it back down, turn this one back to where it goes. And so you basically perform that same algorithm, except you got this, this guy hanging out upstairs. And so the only difference now is you do 180 on that, find the place where he was supposed to be placed, do another 180, and put him back where he goes. And lo and behold, your cube is good. And I didn't fuck it up this time, so... <laughs> All right, the last time I'm going to do for you guys is show you that you can still enjoy a cube without being the fastest one on YouTube. I get a kick out of this, and I guarantee this will probably be like a 40 second solve because I've had a couple beers. So, which people bitch about 15 second solves on these, people suck. So, I mean, all right, here it goes. Ready? for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, comment or whatever. If not, I don't care. I just made this for fun. So, hopefully someone out there enjoyed it. Otherwise, fuck y'all. Peace.